When Larry Page and Sergey Brin were computer science PhD students at Stanford, they wondered if there was a better way to find information on the web. Their research project turned into a much praised search engine. It is called Google, which became popular mainly by word of mouth. Since turning Google into a business three years ago, the company has won a number of industry awards for technical excellence and ease of use. Currently, Google handles over 100 million search requests every day. The Wall Street Journal has called Google everything a search engine should be, thorough, smart, speedy, and honest. I'm pleased to welcome to this table for the very first time those two founders of this company. Um, let me just start with the idea. What happened? I mean, tell me one more time because Google is Google is Google. Well, we we were working at on in our PhDs actually. Yeah. And we accidentally happened across better search technology. Yeah. So we didn't even intend to build a search engine. We just sort of fell into it. Yeah. And we started downloading everything on the web and we started um, doing interesting research on it. And we actually went to um, Yahoo once we had something interesting. We went to David Philo, who's right. one of the founders of Yahoo. Right. So this is great search technology. Why don't you guys make a company and maybe we'll use you someday. And we sort of went off and we continued doing our research for a long time. So David said that to you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And eventually uh, we actually started a company. We finally we finally broke down and said, oh, we're not quite going to finish our PhDs right away. We're going to start a company to get this thing out into yeah. the world. T tell us about the name Google. Um, Google comes from the number Google, yeah. which is a one with 100 zeros after it. Yeah. However, it was coined before we had the Google spell check feature. In fact, <laughs> the number is spelled G-O-O-G-O-L, but the company is G-O-O-G-L-E. You did not launch any great marketing campaign. You literally let it expand by word of mouth. Um, that's right. We, uh, we launched the search engine originally at Stanford. We carried over the traffic to the Google.com site. And we grew from there, like 20% per month, every single month, over and over and over. And over three years, that compounds to a huge amount of traffic. Um, now, in every country in the world, um, we just get a lot of usage, and we continue to grow based on the quality of the product. When you went searching for money, what would you find? We actually, it was very interesting being at Stanford, I guess. There's a lot of resources available. Yeah. And actually, very quickly, we got to David Sheridan, who is one of the, the, uh, the founders of Sun. He said, you know, this is great. How about I write you a check? All right. Is that and, what he said? Yeah. And he just wrote us a check. And um, we had no lawyers. We had no company. The, tech, the check actually sat in my desk drawer for like a month. It was like a $100,000 check. Because <laughs> you didn't know what to do with it or yeah, what? Yeah, we couldn't cash it. We didn't have a company. It was made out to Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't you know that after 90 days, a check is no good? <laughs> um, well, we did it as fast as we could. It takes time to yeah, get lawyers. To get a company and get lawyers yeah. and all those kinds of things, you know. Why does it work so well? I, mean, I remember the first time, because uh, I, I, it's only a search engine. You don't do other things. Google is not a portal. It's a search engine. Yeah. Um, that's there, part of the reason it's successful, don't you think? That, in fact, is the main reason it's successful. There are several technologies that we developed initially that made it work really well, um, and having to do with uh, using the web as a whole rather than just you know what words occur on each page. Um, but we quickly moved beyond that, beyond the first few technologies that we developed at Stanford. Um, we hired up a research group, a really good uh, staff of engineers. At the same time, the other search engines were stopping working on search. Mm. Um, you can see now Excite. Um, I mean, they're really questioning even if they're going to continue the portal, much less you know working on their search engine. Yeah. InfoSeq got bought by Disney, which eventually got shut yeah, down. And, but make the point here, which is you went to both of them, did you not, at some point? We talked to both of those companies, in fact. And even this was back in uh, 96 or 97. And even then, it was clear they wanted to be Yahoo. And they weren't concerned about search. And in fact, the quote from one of their CEOs is, oh, if our search is 85% as good as the next guy's, that's good enough for us. And we really didn't believe that was true. We think you know, search is really important to people. It's how you get information, you which is really critical to you. Um, and so we set about creating our own. Yeah. Is the business model today the same as it's always been? Actually, it's remarkably accurate to our initial business plan. Um, yeah. we, we sort of joke about this, but it's probably within 30% you know, or something of the numbers yeah. we predicted. So we have managed to keep a very stable business model. It's very much what we expected it yeah. to be. And it's been very successful. It's a private company. That's right. You'll go public at some point. And was the intention, did you think you'd go public earlier than this? Um, and then when the bubble burst, you said, well, let's wait until the fallout clears? 
Well, we've actually, we sort of bucked those trends. We've uh, been really interested in being profitable, like long before it was fashionable, is what I say. <laughs> you thought profit was yeah. good a long yeah. time ago? So yeah. we were much more conservative. We didn't do a $100 million ad campaign like some of our competitors. Yeah, here's what I've heard. I'm mean, so happy to have the two of you sitting across the table from each other. <laughs> that <laughs> You know where I'm going, don't you? The idea was that you were not best friends. Were you? Um, I think we. I, I read somewhere that you not even didn't like each other very much. That's true. that's true. But we're pretty good friends, nonetheless. No, you, you, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you, you didn't like each other very much at the beginning, or no? It, but um, you tolerated each other. Yeah, I think you know Larry's kind of obnoxious, but <laughs> okay. you know I'm. I'm able, He's obnoxious, and you're a nice, easygoing guy. I, I'm very easygoing, so right, I'm able right. to get along with him. And you I think buy that's really you buy into this <laughs> characterization, Larry? Um, not really. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the obnoxious one. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, has success been able to bridge uh, this gap between you? Well, well, I think we should uh, say the gap was more in the beginning. When we first met each other, yeah. we both really disliked each other. We, we remember this. But just tell yeah. me why. Um, it was pretty much for the reasons that Larry said. I mean, Obnoxious. Yeah, we're both actually kind of obnoxious. And uh, we met when I was <laughs> recruiting him to the Stanford yeah. PhD program. Yeah. And uh, Larry had to comment on every single thing and be difficult in every conversation. And we have to debate every single point, which I guess are things that I tend yeah. to do as well. So while we are continuously arguing, um, I guess that's also our commonality. And, yeah. and, uh, and we grew to be friends pretty early on once he started uh, in the PhD program. Yeah. Now, does what's happened in terms of the, the, the bursting of the bubble, does that make a difference? I mean, what impact does that have on you guys? I, I think or on Google, really. Um, it definitely has an impact. Like, actually, the office space around us is 30% vacant now. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so yes. we used to know And there are lots of people looking for a job. That's right. You, so you can find some talent out there with not the same kind of competitive rates. Yeah, we actually, we get about 500 resumes every day. Do you really? Yeah, so um, there's tremendous interest in, 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 you know, people working at Google. But I think the, the bubble has actually, in some ways, been nice for us because we've really been focused on, you know, core, you know, making money, being pretty conservative about how we run our business. And that's much more what the market's returned to. Let me ask a couple of things about th today. Uh, one, you've just hired Eric Schmidt. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been on board how long? Uh, like three months three or so. Three months now. Yeah. Yeah. He came, a uh, this is a guy who was a technology chief for Sun Microsystems, then he went to Novell, right? Mm -hmm. And he's still their chairman there, yeah. but he's come over to run Google. Um, yes, yes, basically. So uh, what, what's the idea behind that? Um, I mean, you guys couldn't run it yourself? Yeah, uh, parental supervision, <laughs> to be honest. You know, <laughs> as much as, you know, I think we've done well. We've made yes, a lot of the you needed an adult around? <laughs> right decisions. Do, do you agree with that, Larry? You guys yeah. need an adult supervision? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd say need, but, you know, it's really nice. It, it's beneficial. Have. Yeah. It's, uh, you yeah. know, we're past the age where we're rebellious, you know, or earlier when we were in yeah. our teens and so forth. You know, you don't want the parents around. <laughs> but, you know, now we're getting closer to 30 and so yeah. forth. Um, and, you know, our search engine really serves the world. We perform over 100 million searches a day. Right. It's really important to people. Um, we have a big company, uh, 200 employees. Yeah. It's a large responsibility, and if you can bring in um, experience to help out, I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Of course, it makes sense, and, and he's a very talented guy. Uh, talk to me about the evolution of this business. First of all, why were you more successful? I mean, why is it that even Yahoo turned to you about a year ago as its search, search engine? Well, I think uh, they, they gave a bunch of reasons. In fact, David Filer gave a bunch of reasons, saying that we, you know, our search was much better. Um, it's clear that we had invested a lot in search. We care a lot about search. Mm -hmm. um, that we had a lower cost basis because we used lots of PCs, low cost PCs, yeah. um, and that we had trajectory to stay better and you know improve even more than our competitors. So for all those reasons, they chose us. Yeah. I've seen this list, and, and you guys may know it, but because I don't have it in my head and I don't have it written down somewhere which is the, the things that were the most searched for of ten names. Do you know them offhand? Um, In the last week, I think it is. Well, Lizzie Grubman was Lizzie one. Lizzie Grubman, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, one. What else? Uh, the the uh, British Open, two. I think you know them better than I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, off Penelope the top of my Cruz. head. Uh, Penelope Cruz was yes. three because of the movie she was in, I yeah. guess, huh? Um, uh, and, uh, I can't remember the others offhand, but yeah, we, yeah. we really see trends and culture on our search engine because you know, you'll see when something happens, all of a sudden searches shoot up. Uh, we had this incident when there was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah. I'm trying to remember, there was like a big question about uh, Carol Brady's, Carol Brady's maiden name yeah. and the Brady Bunch. Yeah. And 
you could see if you looked at the the graphs on Google, like who, how many people were querying for Carol Brady, yeah. you know, and like this was like this, and then at the exact right time, it, it, the, the, the question was asked yes, within, within, moment. within like two yes. minutes, had like forty thousand searches. Yes, <laughs> and then it spiked down, <laughs> and then and then two hours later, when the West yeah. Coast saw, that's right, then it also spiked. The West again. Coast had a repeat spike, yeah. so you can see down to the second pretty much what the world is thinking about. That's an amazing kind of bit of research right there. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting data. Um, there's so much information that flows through Google. Um, it's, it's really amazing. There's, there, there's a lot that we can do with it. Yeah. Tell me how the face of this phenomenon is changing in terms of, of, of how you see the development of a search engine and, and what kind of factors will influence its development. Uh, big question. Okay. Well, I think uh, one of the really we important. We occasionally ask big questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, As you know. Yeah, I think search is all about getting more information to more people. Um, one of the things that we've been doing is developing internationally, really aggressively. We have interfaces in about 50 languages now. Uh, we have various levels of support, sort of within those, including some translation features. Um, so now, you know, if you're Italian and you, you type, you search for things on the web and you get back English language results, they get translated to you in Italian. Um, so it's really about bridging the world. Uh, we also have Google available on all kinds of cell phones, WAP phones, iMode phones in Japan. Um, so that's all about getting information to more people. Um, the other side of things is we try to get more and more information in there. Um, like now the discussion boards where we made the acquisition of the the Deja Usenet archives. Mm -hmm. And that's half a billion messages you know, collected over five years of people talking to each other about all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. when, your revenue streams come from where? Uh, so we have two main sources. Uh, one is advertising. From advertising. And we have uh, two parts there. We, we sell to sort of bigger companies. We also sell automated through credit cards. And we have thousands of people mm -hmm. who just buy ads on Google using credit card. Um, we also make money on um, providing search to um, customers like Yahoo. Um, Netscape. We also provide s uh, corporate search to companies like Cisco. So if you go to the Cisco website and do a search, we power that for them. Mm. So, and uh, where do you see the future then in terms of revenue streams? Um, I think those streams will continue to those be really big those, for those us. Those essentially. Um, yeah. I think also, um, you know, we'd like to get streams directly from users. I think you you hear that a lot um, from Yahoo and companies like that. Yeah. Um, I think it's a challenge right now to find things on the web that people want to pay for. Is the nature of the information that you're in search of changing? And I know the words is, do you have more and more access to databases? Um, yes, the answer is undoubtedly yes. Yeah. Um, there are continuously more and more websites that we crawl. For example, um, we crawl all of Amazon, even though it's sitting in a database that's exposed to us. Um, and there are more and more databases which either make themselves available to us by modifying exactly how yeah. they serve things, or we actually work to get more of them online by changing how we go about crawling, uh, mm -hmm. which is a big part of a web search process. Uh, to give me some, dazzle me with a number. Uh, um, I'll, I'll do that. So okay. when we started, we had 30 million web pages, which was big at the yeah, time in 1998. Right. right. Now we have you know over 1.3 billion. 1.3 billion, billion web pages. And actually, if you printed them out and stack them up, um, it would be about 70 miles high of paper. Wow. So that's what you search when you search Google, and it's actually doubling roughly every year. Um, and we continue to, you know, increase the size. It's a, it's a great story. Uh, Google is a search engine that that uh, no matter I mean, it it became what it is by word of mouth in terms of people who used it and recommended it and, and uh, other people recommended it. So it built its own momentum, which is the great way to go. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank great you. Great, great to be here. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. <laughs>